Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold a road show May 10 in Bhubaneswar. The road show will be held from Master Canteen Square to Vani Vihar and will start at 6 pm. Leaders of the Saffron Party informed Tuesday in Bhubaneswar. All the top BJP leaders of Odisha are expected to participate in the road show. The process for filing nominations for the six Lok Sabha constituencies and 42 assembly seats in Odisha that would go to polls June 1 began Tuesday. The Lok Sabha constituencies are Mayurbanj, Balasor, Bhadrak, Jajpur, Kendrapada and Jagat Singhpur. Nomination process would continue till May 14, the election commission said. Police arrested Tuesday three persons including a fake candidate who was appearing in neat in place of the original person in Bhadrak. The two other associates were identified as Aditya Kumar and Rajesh Kumar, while the fake candidate has been identified as Ankit Raja. All three are from Kolkata, police said. A BJD delegation led by star campaigner Sulata Deo lodged a complaint Tuesday with the chief electoral officer in Bhubaneswar, alleging that BJP is distributing cash and pressurizing voters in Raurkela. The BJD has sought a probe into electoral misconduct and intimidation against local BJP leader Sapteshwar Patra and his aides. The BJP is going all out to woo voters in Odisha after the party has lined up a number of star campaigners who are scheduled to visit the state. Odisha BJP Vice President Golak Mahapatra said Tuesday in Bhubaneswar that among those expected to visit the state are Hema Malini, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma, his Chhattisgarh counterpart Vishnu Deo Sai, Union Ministers Rajnath Singh and Nitin Gadkari. Miscreants attacked Tuesday independent candidate for Kalahandi, Lok Sabha constituency Naresh Hiala when he was on his way to Bhavani Patna for election campaigning. Hiala suffered serious injuries and is currently undergoing treatment at the Bhavani Patna hospital, his aides said. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal failed to get any relief Tuesday from the Supreme Court with a two-judge bench rising without pronouncing an order on granting him interim bail to enable him to campaign in the Lok Sabha elections. The matter may be heard again Wednesday. Meanwhile, in the excise camp case, a Delhi court extended judicial custody of Kejriwal till May 20. Voter turnout of 50.71% was recorded till 3 p.m. Tuesday in the third phase of Lok Sabha elections in 93 constituencies spread over 11 states and union territories. West Bengal recorded the highest turnout at 63.11%, followed by Assam at 63.08%, while Maharashtra witnessed the lowest at 42.63%, the election commission stated. Terming the alleged teacher recruitment scam in West Bengal systematic fraud, the Supreme Court said Tuesday authorities were duty-bound to maintain the digitized records pertaining to the appointment of 25,753 teachers and non-teaching staff. A bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandra Chud and Justices J.B. Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra made the observation while hearing a batch of petitions challenging the Calcutta High Court's April 22 decision that invalidated the appointment of 25,750 teachers and non-teaching staff. Prime Minister Narendra Modi cast his vote Tuesday at a polling booth in Ahmedabad and congratulated the Election Commission for conducting the first two phases of the Lok Sabha polls with hardly any violence and asked the people to come out in large numbers to vote. Jharkhand Minister Alamgir Alam's secretary Sanjeev Kumar Lal and his domestic help Jahangir Alam were produced Tuesday before the Special Prevention of Money Laundering Act Court of Prabhat Kumar Sharma in Ranchi. The court sent them to six days of ED custody. The Enforcement Directorate had arrested the two Monday after more than rupees 32 crore were seized from Lal's house. Police said Tuesday that another accused was arrested Monday for his involvement in the shooting incident outside actor Salman Khan's Mumbai residence last month. The accused, identified as Mohammad Rafiq Chaudhary, was arrested from Rajasthan. Police said Chaudhary had financed the entire operation. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.